नेक्स्ट इज हाउ टू प्रिपेयर टिश्यूज फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज दे आर कलरलेस दे आर सॉफ्ट एंड वी कॉन्ट हैंडल इट ऑन दिस स्लाइड ऑफ द माइक्रोस्कोप सो वी हैव टू चेंज द hardness and the color of the tissues uh, which we examine so here are some preparation of the tissues which is used for light microscope right these preparation are specifically for light microscope first one is fixation second embedding third sectioning and fourth one is staining these are basically the four steps which we have to understand first one is fixation how we fix this and why do we fix it it means fixation is basically for the preservation of the structure of tissues these are just to preserve the uh, structure of the tissues why because a uh, lot of enzymes present in the cell and when they are present they can autolysis the cell so we have to inactivate the enzymes which is present in the cell this is the inactivation of enzyme because enzyme can do autolysis which are present in the cell second one to stabilize the protein because, because uh, there are lot of proteins which can destroy or uh, change their shape so we have to stabilize them third is cellular component insoluble because lot of components of the cell can uh, dissolve so we have to prevent them from uh, dissolution the chemical or fixative which is used for fixation for the microscope is formalin formalin is basically a 37% solution of formalin let's suppose here is a beaker having formalin solution in it right 37% formalin solution we don't get confused 37% solution it's just considered that this is a formalin right we have to dilute them for we we dilute it we have to add some water in it right and it forms a 10% solution of formalin right 10% solution don't can confuse 37% of solution of formaldehyde form formalin and this is just for further dilution of the formalin which is used for the general usage of fixation right this is the fixation step which is used for the preparation of the tissues second one is embedding embedding paraffin uh, is used for embedding paraffin is solid at 25 degree celsius and liquid at 60 degree celsius for embedding uh, why do uh, we embed tissue because tissues are soft right and uh, uh, for the hardness of the tissues we have to embedding them let's suppose this is a small container having some tissue in it right right we add
paraffin wax in it. We add paraffin. And then incu uh, we incubate. Incubate at 60 degrees. It means uh, we take this beaker and put it in oven for se several hours at 60 degrees Celsius. It gives an advantage that lot of paraffin which is in the liquid form get infused into the tissues and after incubation we take this beaker from the oven and then uh, now after that beaker from the oven and then uh, now after that cool this beaker right and we get a solid cube like paraffin wax cube in which tissues tissues are embedded right tissues are embedded this is a cube like solid cube now we have to section it one by one, one by one and we get different uh, section or thin slices of the tissues. Next third step is the sectioning means cutting of this cube into several pieces. Uh, for the cutting of the this block a machine which is called microtome is used this machine is helpful for the cutting of this cube and this machine cut this cube right here is a cube and in it there is a tissues right this machine cut this tissue into several pieces having different tissues in it. The thickness will be 3 to 10 micrometer in thick. Right? And the last stage, uh, sorry, but before we staining, we put these pieces on a slide. This is a slide and we put these pieces on it right and here is some tissues which is shown by black color we then put this slice into the oven and then incubate or dry after dry it means uh, when we put it into an oven this uh, tissues uh, dry it means moisture removed and uh, fixed into the slide this section thin piece fixed on to the slide right and the last stage is the staining now we have to stain them because we can't see tissues because they are colorless majority of the tissues are colorless so we have to stain for the, distinct, uh, for the uh, distinction of uh, different components of the cell. Staining. For the staining, we have to use different dyes. For the understanding of the concept, you first of all understand how salts are formed. Let's suppose this is a AC, HCl plus NaOH. And a Cl plus H2O. This is a equation acid HCl base NaOH NaCl salt and water. This is a salt NaCl sodium chloride. This is a salt sodium 
एंड ए पॉजिटिव सी एल नेगेटिव सोडियम कम्स फ्रॉम बेस ड्यू टू दोडियम ड्राइव फ्रॉम द बेस इट इज कार्ड बेसिक रेडिकल सोडियम इज कार्ड बेसिक रेडिकल एंड क्लोरिन और क्लोराइड आइन कम्स फ्रॉम एसिडिक पार्ट दैन इट इज कार्ड एसिडिक रेडिकल और एसिडिक राइट डाइज आर बेसिकली नेचुरल साल्ट बट इट इट मीन साल्ट हैविंग टू रेडिकल इट कैन बी एसिडिक और बेसिक बट द कलर विच इज प्रोड्यूस थ्रू विच रेडिकल इफ द कलर प्रोड्यूस बाय द एसिडिक रेडिकल दैन इट इज कार्ड एसिडिक डाइज and if it is produced by basic radical then it is called basic dye right acidic dye or uh, dye what components of the cell they actually dye acidophilic structures of the cell it's mean acidic dye lover structure right and the basic radical or basic dye dye the component of those cell which are basophilic structure it mean basophilic dye loving structure but they are it means they are acidophilic it means they itself are in basic nature right acidic dye is used for the basic nature of the components which is present in the cell and basic dye is used for those components which are acidic in nature like basic nature components are cytoplasm here you can see cytoplasm it means acidic dye is used for the coloring of the cytoplasm because cytoplasm are basic in nature due to several proteins present in it and the and the basic dyes is used for the acidic components or components which are acidic in nature uh, these are DNA or RNA, right? Acidic dye colors the basic component, and the basic dye colors the acidic component, right? Acidic dyes are eosin, acid fusion, orange dye, picric acid. and the basic dye are hematoxylin toluidine blue methylene blue right acidic dye color pinkish to reddish in color and the basic dyes light blue deep blue or purple like this is a cell having nucleus in it right this uh, acidic dye color the cytoplasm cytoplasm can be in the form of pinkish to reddish in color and the basic dye dye the dna or rna which is uh, dna mainly present in the nucleus and the nucleus will be in deep purple in color so this is all about preparation of the tissues for the examination through the microscope thank you so much